Hi, my name's Matt, and thanks for joining me here again for another installment of how we can engage in prayer. And on this journey, we hope to deepen our relationship with God here at the All We Can movement. Now, I want to share with you just for a few moments on this idea of prayers of intercession. Maybe you attend a church, maybe you've attended it virtually, and you might come across a, a slot in your service where you have a time of prayer of intercession. Well, intercession is just another kind of word that we use in the church to, to speak about praying for someone that is not yourself. Almost speaking on behalf of and, and praying for, stepping in the gap for those that cannot pray themselves, maybe. And for me, when it comes to prayers of intercession, the thing that I find the most useful and helpful that I want to share with you, maybe you do it already, but it's to segment those prayers of intercession to three key aspects. And by doing that, it really helps me focus my prayers and intercession. The first aspect I want to share with you is the world. Looking at God's world, looking at God's creation, and looking about how I can see beyond those, those walls, those borders that uh, I live in, and see what's going on in the world. There's so much going on in our world that we just simply don't always know about. So I want to encourage us to think about how we can pray for those things in our world. Maybe you want to reflect with me as well today. Maybe you want to use uh, the BBC News and other news outlets to see what's going on in our world today. So the first aspect is the world. The second aspect that I find really helpful for us to be able to reflect when it comes to prayers of intercessions is to be able to pray for our nation and pray for the country in which we live in. Now, wherever you are, you might be watching this not from the United Kingdom. Maybe there's prayers of intercession in, in regards to where you live. But think of the country in which you live. There's so much, again, going on in the countries in which we live in that we can be praying for. Again, using the news outlets, using local news and, and wider than that to see what's going on in our nation. That helps us to be able to pray in an informed way. And lastly, it's for our community. Now, our community might just be the street in which we live in, or it might also be the town, the city that we live in, wherever it is, but the community in which we are based. And again, using news outlets or other means, we can help pray for the community in which we live in. And but if we do that by segmenting prayers of intercession in that simple and easy way, I find it helps us focus our minds when it comes to prayers of intercession. And I want to encourage, maybe we want to mix up the order. It doesn't always have to be world, nation, community. It could be community, nation, world. However you want to do it, I want to encourage you to think about how you can use prayers of intercession in a way to engage with what God is doing around the world in, our, in the country we live in and in the communities that we are also in. And as you do that, I encourage you to kind of weave the All We Can story in between those three different elements. How All We Can is working around the world, but also engages in the countries in which you're living in as well. But also engage in the local communities too, with the local churches and community groups as well. See how the All We Can movement ebbs and flows between all those three aspects of prayers of intercession. And I hope that wherever you are, whatever you're doing, how we engage in prayers of intercession might encourage us along in the journey of Christ. Be blessed. I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching this video. Take care and bye for now.